So I'll let you introduce what we went to because I've never been to a big con before. That's not a big con. So it's not even a big con, but it was big to me because <laughs> <That's> the, <I'm, laughs> I've only done local cons before. Um, and actually just one con and it's a small one. So to me, this was big. I've never done an indoor one, but you have. Uh huh. Lots of them. And you weren't fairly impressed by Stellar Con 2023. Nope. I'm not going on the We're riding by the anime store dressed as. <laughs> we have entered Maryland. The music is fitting because I'm nervous. As ah. I to get on the highway, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. And this music ah. is fitting. <laughs> So, got there. Um, I kind of stayed up the night before looking at the Q&A questions for StellarCon, like parking. And it said there were free parking in surrounding lots, so I just kind of parked wherever. I actually managed to get um, a parking spot pretty close to the arena. And unfortunately, it was actually raining out there, so the lines were a little... Like, I was confused by the line. I, I almost cut in line by accident until I was informed by other people that... Because we had prepaid for the tickets, right? Mm hmm And uh, it looked like we could just walk right in, and other people were in line for the, you know, get the tickets right then and there. But, nope, they were like, uh, back of the line. <laughs> okay. It's not normal. <laughs> what? What? The line for the tickets is long. If we, if we already have ours, but it's still long. It's long. <laughs> because they were standing underneath of the the roof because it was raining, I guess. And no, and nobody wants to be soaking wet at Comic-Con. How long would you say we were in line for? I'd say like 15, 20 minutes, which is still a lot, especially since we already had our tickets. You. I feel like it would have been quicker if we just like bought new tickets at while we were already there because that line was like non-existent. They said it was the same price, so. So we should have just. We should have just got our there tickets. Was no there was no point. The entry was kind of just the tickets for the most part because a bunch of it was just them being slow, and I feel it was already like an hour almost. Well, by the time we got through, it's almost been two hours into the con, and uh, most of the people that we you know we saw because it wasn't that big. It was about like. There was only about a hundred people in there, and that we there was about five hundred towards the end of the day, like yeah. max. So I feel like only ha only being able to get through a hundred people in two hours is kind of rough, especially since most people already had tickets. Now you got to go in and give them all. It, it was like them scanning your thing and then giving you the wristband. Yeah, we should note that we weren't on time. Um, we intended to get there at eleven when they opened, but we got there closer to like eleven thirty or forty ish, and we took forever getting out the car to like make sure our outfits were perfect. But we got in there. Yeah, entry was quick, but there was no map that we saw. And you said you didn't see a schedule. No, and like I we looked on the schedule. we looked on the table and everything. Like it was just a bunch of advertising for other cons, and. There was, I don't know, I don't know exactly what it was, just like a piece of paper that had, that the, we, I looked for, I, I looked for a schedule, I just don't know, I don't remember what the other piece of paper was, it's probably some, like, advertisement too, but there's yeah. a bunch of ads at the table rather than like a schedule and time, and yeah, that wasn't that fun. The only schedule that they kinda had, which I still think is like, wasn't a very good schedule, was the one they had on like a big board, but only had, like, the kids costume contest. And panels on it so none of the other things that were going on throughout the day and maybe I'm just stupid but it took me a, a little bit of a moment to figure out how to get <laughs> out of the entrance line into the actual arena and get down into it and that's oh, that was that was just like a you that was just a me issue oh we made it down to the place and you felt like they were lacking in staff? Oh, they were definitely lacking in staff. I felt like they were very understaffed. That, that's one of the that's one of the reasons why I think the line took so long because they had like two people running it. I guess there were two. I think for maybe the, there were three. There was three, total. but two for like the ticket line. Yeah, like, I mean, we're gonna already had ticket line, and I think or I already think that wristbands are not a very good way to you know for cons. I kind of prefer something that's like very easy to, and snappy to get through, especially if you're gonna have 
a right. wait line outside. A lot of bigger cons that I've been to, the getting through the line if you already have a ticket is usually easier because sometimes they just have like you know badges and stuff. Like at first I was scared. I had seen just about everything within the first 15 minutes, but that was also just me walking through and glancing. So like I, when I really got to like look at each individual booth or vendor or whatever you want to call it, um, then I spent a lot more time. You still making weird noises. You're still making odd noises. Yep, con. Maybe playing a song. SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy. Bro, I found the figures. Bro, look at the mini deckers. You can have all the decks and stuff. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind the concept, and how did you go about doing that? Yeah, these prices are bad. Um, you felt like some of the vendors were a bit repetitive. There were half of them, if not like seventy-five percent of them, were just resellers of other stuff, games, Pokemon cards, uh, comic books. I'm pretty fine with. But a bunch of Funko Pop Squishmallows, uh, not very fun, especially in a, such a small con, because mm. it feels like they, the Funko Pop sellers kind of took advantage of the fact of, you know, it didn't feel like Artist Alley, it felt like Funko Pop Alley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, we oh, they might, oh, Funko Pop. And it's $85. That's because it's rare. That's why I haven't found it. Darn it. I'm not paying that much for it. Uh, she had a blast of Funko Pops. That's like that, you know, she's into that, you know, yeah. shiny stuff. <laughs> uh, I managed to find Ervin Smith. You know, I was looking for that. I feel like Funko Pops, like, I, whenever I go to the store, I can't always find the right character, so it's nice to have a lot of the characters that I like in one area, but, like, I see what he means about, like, it's not, it's, you see it over and over again, and you feel like it might even take the place of other potential more original mm -hmm. ideas. But there was one that I was kind of fond of, only because it specifically had Funko Pops of, like, each person that was doing a panel and signing mm -hmm. stuff, so it felt more targeted, and it felt more like, hey, get this thing to get signed, and it, it like that wasn't too like expensive except for one that th they had but it was like a pre like it was i think it was like pre-release but then again they had stuff that wasn't pre-release there for that so just stuff to get signed i felt that one was kind of more targeted towards the con audience uh, but i just felt like there was a lack of creativity in mm. artist alley and it made it very boring to go through because once you see for the most part, once you see one Funko Pop uh, <laughs> vendor, you've seen them all. Yeah. Because they there all basically repeats. have the same thing. Yeah, you're going to see your Squish typical Mellows too. Squishmallows, too. Which, like, would lead me to my next point is, like, so, for the Squishmallows, though, because I'm used to Squishmallows being a high price. Like, I've gone to FYE. Uh, not FYE. Well, that probably, too. But I've gone to, like, Claire's, and the Squishmallows are, like, 40 bucks for a small one. I, a lot of the vendors were, were very reasonable. Can you reach that? What? Oh. Okay. Be careful, I'm taking it down. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I should. 15? Oh, shit. I'm gonna get that. Is it 15 bucks? Yeah, 15. That's not even a bag. You want a bag? Uh, sure, yeah. It's a pre-release. So, yeah, it was extremely limited before they even came out. I like your Hawks cosplay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Love your cosplay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Do you accept card? Yeah, absolutely. I got like a big, one that I'd pay usually probably 45 bucks for, I got for like 15 bucks. One guy was just trying to get rid of them, and he gave me them for, like, five bucks. I was like, okay. Like, if I'm starting to squish my collection, which I guess I am, you know, this was actually surprisingly... It was the last place I would have thought I would have gotten a good deal for it, but I did. But it wasn't that crowded, but I felt like at certain booths, it was, like... Like, it was, like, it was too crowded. Like, especially one jewelry booth, I feel like... 
It was just one in particular. Yeah. But uh, we were waiting for, for our turn for thirty minutes. It's not so the it's not the person at the booth's fault, and uh, it was just these people just waiting in front of us taking out every jewelry thing, which. You know, it, it, I was I was basically okay with because they're they're looking, they're supporting you know a smaller creator type deal. The way that I'm hyped for some Squidward, my heart is Anyway. They have like no maps around. Mm. Yeah. Custom saber. That's pretty neat. Did I get? I said custom lightsaber. I said that's pretty neat. Mm. Oh, I think that comes through here. Did it come through here? It, it came through already. Yeah. Well, we'll probably do that the whole time. Mm. It's just fun to keep wandering through. Blanked. What happened? <laughs> I said we uh, felt like there wasn't a ton of extracurricular. I say extracurricular. Uh, a ton of extra activities. Like there was tabletop games and there was some other stuff. We felt like there wasn't a ton to like do in your oh, spare time. Yeah. So it seemed more of a, it was an arena type area, but they also had like pools and stuff and stuff for gymnastics. And it seemed like there was a lot other going on other than the con. It just kind of seemed that it wasn't shown properly about where certain things were. And that show, because we were, we, it got to the point where we've already went, we, for the first hour, we already went through most of Artist Alley, uh, and we saw most of almost anything. We were just waiting for the panels. Felt kind of bored immediately, just because it was Funko Pops and everything else. It, they implied there was more to do, and they had, like, a tabletop section. And I, I, I'm into more, like, the tabletop stuff. Like, I like Magic the Gathering and, you know, Warhammer and that kind of stuff. And we went to go look at the tabletop area as we were going to the, you know, get the her stuff signed mm -hmm. by uh, Robert Bumpass. What's his name? Bumpus. Bump. Roger Bumpus. B I don't know how to. How to Roger <laughs> Bumpus. I thought you were joking, bro. No, I just thought it was actually Bumpass. No, <laughs> no, never. You gotta cut that out. Went to the. You we felt like it was lacking. I looked inside the tabletop thing. And I saw one table that interested me. I saw two people playing Magic the Gathering, and they were there for like almost the, all the entire day. It felt like, <laughs> but there were like three tables set up, two both of which were occupied for the entire day by like these same four people. We walked by it again, and it didn't. There was just there was just like the one Warhammer miniature, and then a bunch of a few other like toys. I don't know or other things for other tabletop games, but it, it seemed empty. And I feel like the other than that. There wasn't much else to do, and it felt like you could just go through the whole con for an hour. It and was even, okay. And even at other smaller cons that I've been to, they still had like other things to do that you like. You could sit by and listen to like a band or something if they were playing, or like a bunch of other just side things to do that go on throughout the day. Mm -hmm. It just lacks interaction. 
and it feels just like a big because of the Funko Pop suit didn't help. I felt like a it was just store. in a big Walmart type place. Yeah, with people dressed up. So I specifically was interested in seeing Roger Bumpus because I'm a huge SpongeBob fan. He's the guy that plays Squidward. And yes, his name is pronounced Roger Bumpus. Don't get it wrong. It's spelled otherwise, but that's how you say it. Um, I was very excited to see him. Well, I actually thought the panels were pretty neat because they had it so that they were right in the main room. So if you didn't sit down, you'd have to be sitting down to hear the panelists and whoever was on the microphone like you could hear it throughout the area i managed to get um a good seat i wasn't front row but i was second to front row and i was like right in his oh, line of vision row. huh we call second to front row second row second row <laughs> very excited when he came on stage and started asking questions right away he didn't really like he didn't give any backstory he was like let's just start with questions there was actually some funny stuff going on we had people asking him these really like intense questions that sound like they wrote it and they thought about it for days we had some very excited people beside us who spongebob's just their thing and you know i completely understand i'm one of the biggest spongebob fans you will ever encounter she's crazy i'm not in a spongebob mood right now i haven't been a hundred percent hardcore obsessed with it hyper fixated on it in a, about a year a lot of my spongebob quotes and knowledge went out the window like they he was like give your best squidward quotes and i was like uh <laughs> like um no patrick mayonnaise yeah that's a basic your... behind quote that's yeah, why i'm well, not quoting it I'm and, not and let me just tell you that. roger bump as much as i love him basic behind choice he want to talk about i know band geeks everybody's favorite well that's true everybody cheered and clapped but i'll that, tell you what you said that he said the pie one I, they said dying into. for pie which was based and i literally couldn't contain my squeal but yes pizza delivery and um dying for pie is one of my favorite secrets we have some fans up here. I literally was like, yes. I have Dying for Pies title screen printed on my, and printed and put on my wall. Based choice by uh, Roger Bumpus. There were some, some interesting folks uh, it, who were asking questions. You got your typical boring questions like asking Roger Bumpus, is mayonnaise an instrument? You know, he's, I mean, that's funny. You know, asking him what's the formula, asking him what's his favorite episode. But then you have people like ask him pretty interesting questions like, how do you feel about the Super Bowl incident, which I'm sure he's been asked before? How do you, and how do you feel red about mist, um, you know, whatever that is? Red mist, and he didn't. I don't know what that is. Either. Red mist is. I was just as lost. A, I was like, what? you don't heard of that? No, it was like it was like the Squidward suicide yes, thing. Yes, it's a oh, dark, it's a dark it was deleted the pasta, scene, but we know it's not the, the creepy pasta. And then there was this other guy, and he he was standing in the aisle like he really really wanted to speak to Squidward. Well, finally they came around to him. Bro gets the microphone and he's like, "Hello, Squidward." <laughs> then he does world's loudest impression. Go ahead, ask your question. Is this thing on? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, hello there, Mr. Squidward. <laughs> Seriously, that was serious. And I'm the just mic, like, the mic, the mic, like no offense to the guy, he was clearly super fair. But yes. let me tell you, like, <laughs> let me tell you, I have, I only have one working ear. I almost lost my hearing in the other one. Like I went almost double deaf. It was Funny. actually a banger impression. Right, and he had a good question afterwards. He I, afterwards I, I, he had a good question. Just it was a little awkward. I don't think was anyone was expecting him to do I feel like it scared that. a bunch of the people. Because, like I said, you could hear and like see the panel from the entire <laughs> venue. So <laughs> imagine you just some, get... some person probably got like crap scared out of them. I mean, you just imagine you're just sitting here looking at fungal pops and out of nowhere your ear ripped by... <laughs> It was a good impression. I thought it was funny. And, and then he came back afterwards and he got serious. And, and then Roger Muppets responded with a Squidward laugh. They got serious and asked a good question. So Mike finally came around to me, which I was happy about. I was dressed as Beagus the Ackerman, but I had on a SpongeBob. I put on like this little SpongeBob hat and I got to ask my burning question. Awesome. We have one here. It is an honor to meet you. SpongeBob has been my world for many years. I just want to ask you, how do you feel about AI technology and the ability to recreate Squidward's voice? Have you heard his voice in YouTube videos where it's clearly not you speaking? 
Yes, I have. I have been cloned several times. Uh, it's 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 a it's a very I'm I'm gonna go on a limb here. I, I call it sinister because of its potential for misuse. Um, I and 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 it's going to be human nature. It's going to be used in a bad way. It's going to hurt somebody somewhere. You know? So I only hope we can kind of put the lid on the the, the genie bottle and, and and keep track of it because it's a brave new world and I don't think I like it. All right, so we have time for one more question. I was like, I feel like I asked the banger question. You know what I should ask? I should ask if it's pronounced Bumpus or Bumpass. Roger Bumpus. Cool she dude. Now she wants to meet Tom Kenny. Yeah, that's on the bucket list. That's who I'm really worried about. I thought it was cool to meet Squidward, but I'm much more worried about SpongeBob. But let me talk about um, the photo op. I call these my 52 Roger Bumpus bucks. You know, some, some of the voice actors and celebrity guests... They give you the option to purchase their your autographs and stuff beforehand. So I thought this was like that. I let her know, and I'm like, all right, like you know, look into it. But and she was like, oh, okay, I'll get it. We look at it, and we didn't know that it was like a time thing. Like there was a specific time you had to do it. Yeah, and like it did not say that anywhere on my ticket. I looked at the fine print. I looked everywhere on my digital ticket. I looked on the Q and A on Facebook for StellarCon nowhere yeah. i swear to you unless i somehow missed it nowhere on my ticket or anywhere did it say you need to be here because he's going to be here at blank time at blank time from blank time to blank time the mm. photo op being at a certain time was not displayed at all no. except at the actual place you go to get it which is already hard to find we yeah we had to ask after the after the panel to figure out where it was because it was it was already difficult enough to figure it out where it was because it's all the way in the back where the actual photo op is happening Mm, and there and are arrows there, to get there, but and there's no well, there's no arrow for the specific photo op. No. it's just to the each celebrity guest. Just each and celebrity there's guest. also a bunch of people in those lines, yep. so you can barely, you can barely see, see the it. thing until you're already in like right next to the photo op. Yeah. And you can, even then, you can barely see it past people's heads. So it's such a big piece of information yes. that is so hard to get for fifty two bucks. Right, and. I, I, I didn't think that was very fair. Not um, at all. Like, if, if it was that important, there was no reason that that thing should have been far in the back. You know, people are going to be obstructing uh, the line of, of, of view for that for that um, board, which was in marker, and, like, I had to squint my eyes anyway. I was in halfway in the line. I had to squint my eyes. It should have been at the beginning, uh, like, the front of the room. You would probably wait 30 minutes yes. just to get up to it. I missed my photo opportunity with Roger Bumpus because I was unaware. And you could say what you will. Maybe I should have been there earlier. Maybe I should have double-checked. But it wasn't clear. I still got a photo with him. Mm. I But I paid 60 more bucks for a selfie and an autograph. And he was cool to me. I got to shake his hand. He was chill. You know, I didn't say a ton to him. He didn't say a ton to me. But, you know, I mean, he was friendly. And he signed my SpongeBob hat, and it looks really good. Uh, we, we You had to pay 60 bucks for recordings. Um, we didn't knowingly record... You got some accidental footage. It's funny, like, as a kid, I wanted to be more like Spongebob. And that's why I was like, oh, this is going to be 60 of these. That's a common story that I hear. Yeah. 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 That's $60. I'm also an artist. Yeah, that's why you asked the phone. Your phone is ringing. I'm going to mention you being a reasonable amount of unrecognized talent.
in the way but but you can get a I little guess. bit of a glimpse of what it looked like that moment when you just met squidward cars oh yeah cars were there uh i only cared about one car for the most part they had a bunch of different cars they had like the batmobile um that was the only one that I remember seeing, other than the Impala from Supernatural. My dad watched it all the time. He still watches it. We still watch it. That's our kind of our, like, mine and his thing. And I saw it there. I got my pictures. That was, like, a very, very good experience. Um, very good experience. Very nice car. Very nice yeah. people. They were very talkative. Let, you know, gave information about the cars and stuff. It was very nice. Uh, we got nice pictures. And, you know, it was probably one of the better experiences of the con. Like, Rather it than, was kind yeah. of like that, like, extra thing to do. Who? You. Me? Really? Why? Just because it's a bunch of, like, killing people and stuff like that. Oh, okay. They kill in languages and stuff. So, has a bunch of, like, oh, that one's so cool. And then after that, we kind of just mm -hmm. left. Yeah. Uh, oh, where are you going now? Oh, we can wander around and see what else they got. Wait, you actually start recording with your pocket in it? Put it in there just to capture the, the little POV. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, like, I had bought from the vendors I wanted to buy from, and my feet were starting to hurt. I, I felt like, I mean, I liked the characters that I went as, I personally, like, don't feel that strongly about Mikasa, but I feel like she was still cool to be. I felt like it was a good couple cosplay, because I feel like he naturally achieved the Aaron Yeager look. Like, it was just an easy cosplay for him. So you just, I knew you were going to try to just get a video of me walking. That's I'm used to just, let me buy the stuff for it, and rock it. He's used to making his... Yeah. That's what he's used to. Hardcore, you know, craftsmanship. So that kind of added to his feeling of like, it's okay. But like, so it wasn't bad. Like, we didn't get it. Like, we got a couple pictures taken. We weren't expecting to get many. Um, I, I, didn't, I feel like I didn't see a whole ton of ton of characters that I recognize. Like, some people have some good costumes, but I feel like I've actually seen more interesting costumes at my local con. To be fair, though, you know, she's only watched, like, three animes and Spongebob, so she don't have a lot of pop culture to go off That is of. true. What you say?
not done with you. He, he really don't like Mitsu. So he's really not feeling Mitsu. But yeah, I mean, it was good. We, we left. We had to figure out how to leave properly. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where the exit is, to be 100%. I have no clue. I have no clue. Is it, out, is it just out that way? Or? Where are you supposed to go in? We were wondering where the is. You exit through here? No. No? The exit off those doors right there. If you go into that, it's still in that room. The VIP room or whatever, or meet and greet. Mm -hmm. Walk the side doors all the way down to the building. Oh, go well, that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. It's kind of mid. Like, it's cool itself. Like, and there was a people exiting through a bunch of different ways, and it just wasn't like the lack of information again. It's it was just, very it, disorganized. It, it was very disorganized. Not a lot of like, not a lot of help. I enjoyed hanging out with her, but like the con, the actual con experience, I feel like it was. Uh, I got my fill pretty fast. Yeah, I think we left at like three thirty ish, and it ended at five, and I don't feel like we missed much. We are leaving the con Outside. a little early because it's good, but you know, we said it's, it's mid. It's it's not good or bad, it's mid. See, so take off the jacket. I'm not taking off the jacket. Take it off That's real not quick. That's how it works. And he I put it on. Slide it in on it. Didn't he, doesn't he put it on? Yes, he just, yes, he puts it on, but he does anime magic. It looks just like anime it's magic. not sliding on. It's, it's already hard enough to get off. It's not how it works. Okay. Like, uh, we ended up getting our dinner closer to six because our, our ride home was like roughly, it was closer to two hours, to be honest. And so we were just sitting here eating our food like, eh, we could, t we could have, you know, been leaving con around now, but you know. Wendy's now back. Oh. Stop! <laughs> um, we, we're rolling up AOT style to eat some food at Wendy's. Are you order my paper roll? I love your, I love your heart. Not that bad, because I think you're a good one. I might just get three large baked meter combos. Okay. Three? Yeah, see if I mean one for you. Two? Huh? No, I'm actually surprised it's. I don't want to have to sit there and give me like, you know, chains. Especially in the beginning when I first got there, I was like, how do you have these guys had chains? Yeah. Are these sneakers? It's the sneakers for me. Oh, mine, mine look good. Hmm? Mine look nice. Okay, ready for the water? This is an air digger. Missed opportunities everywhere. I just messed up. Really bad. Okay, so you gave me a fifty dollar. Yeah. Okay. And it was. And I meant to put in here forty nine forty forty nine ninety nine, but I put in thirty nine ninety nine. So what would that mean? What would I have to give you that? Shoot. Oh, okay. So, cause how much was it again? It was uh, forty nine ninety nine. That's how much. How much was it the meal? Oh, thirty four forty four. Oh. Probably six, roughly. What, what did it say on the receipt? It says 555. Uh, uh, oh, 555 was if, if he has. Oh, shoot. Wait a second, what? I might be I'm tripping as well. I'm just tripping. The initial idea we had was let's do the two days. Um, because they had, you can go Saturday, you could go Sunday, and you could do two days. So be because of the two days thing and the offering of a hotel and the th the idea of an after party, I'm thinking this is going to be extravagant. I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, I feel like if you have a, a deal for multiple days, you have you should have something to, that brings people back. I, I kind of, you know, shied away from the idea of going for both days. So I, I, I knew this was going to be a smaller con. And uh, Yeah, I'm kind of glad we went with this the one day. Mm -hmm. It would have felt like a drag to continue. Yeah. Now, 
with all that said, and we're not trying to hate on it, we ranked it as mid, right? I ranked it below. The real question is, would you do it again? No. If they had, you wouldn't do StellarCon 2024. No. No. Nope. And then I'm going. I'm strictly going to KatsuCon and top, Awesome Con next year. Top three brief reasons you wouldn't go again, and I'll give my top three reasons for my choice. Uh, lack of information, lack of things to do, lack of information. For me, uh, it's a yes and no. I'd say no because of the distance. If there's another one in Maryland nearby, okay. Uh, but then I would say yes, and just in the sense that, and again, it's an excuse to dress up, uh, and they had somebody I actually wanted to see. So, like, if they for some reason brought Tom Kenny to StellarCon next year, you best believe I'll be there just to see him. I just wouldn't do it again. I didn't. I don't think it was. I yeah, it's not for me. Yeah, it was like you know. It was. It was what it was. It was Comic Con. I'm just glad we had one that was nearby. But yeah, that's how we felt about StellarCon 2023. It was. It was a funny couple experience anyway. Um, I'll, I'm still mourning the loss of my 52 Roger Bumpus Bucks, but I got to talk to him, I got to shake his hand, I got to get an autograph from him, got a picture with him, and he did answer my question, so I can't complain too much. Like, I, I got to do that. But yeah, that's that's how we felt about uh, Stellar Con. Um, and yeah, we just wanted to share our experience, because we're not sure how many other people are going to do this type of video for this, because, again, it's such a small con, so... Peace out.